basically the wife and I moved here in uh, late 04 and literally there was nothing here. There were no shrubs, no flowers. And so in 05, we said, hey, we need to be doing some things. And so uh, originally we started out, uh, I dug 20 holes for the wife who bought 20 shrubs and flowers and grasses and said, okay, I'm done. Well, the next year I had to rearrange all those 20 holes and now it's probably 200 holes later and it seems like now we're at a stage where if we need something we have volunteers of whatever we have planted and so we don't have to go out and buy anything anymore we can just say hey let's let's move this to wherever and that's worked out real well uh, the purpose of of whether it be a flower uh, whether it be a shrub whether it be a grass is to shall we say, give pollinators something, give birds and animals berries to eat off the shrubs, etc. cetera, uh, give some protection to wildlife in the wintertime. Uh, we've got such a variety of, I mean, we have aronia berries, uh, we have raspberries, blackberries, uh, elderberries, uh, which don't last very long right now. And this has been a real strange year because many, many times we're out working in, in the flower garden, whether it be weeding or whatever, and literally everything's alive around you. And this year, uh, I don't know if it's the winter or because it's so hot uh, or what, but we're not seeing the pollinators. And I, so I hope this is a temporary thing. Uh, but yeah, if, if we were out here in the garden right now, normally I would expect to see butterflies and bees and all kinds of things. And you'll see a few, but not like we've seen in the past. Um, but uh, this is just something that uh, we, we try to work pretty hard on. Again, my wife is the primary worker on all this. And uh, I think she's done a, a pretty good job of combining flowers and, and grasses and, and et cetera. Uh, we, we try to have something that's blooming in the spring, uh, like cone flowers, for instance, uh, and then something uh, maybe more midsummer, and then fall. And right now, you are kind of seeing the pre fall. Uh, scenario here. Uh, we, we see some things beginning to bloom, but yet here in a few more weeks, this is just going to be crazy with color. Uh, what you saw along the ditches and along the fence line, that is an area that every spring we burn. And as you can see, it comes back just full force. The flower gardens that you've seen, we literally cut that down every spring and we shred it or try to shred it and use that as mulch right back on the flower gardens. So we're benefiting all the way around. 